the company that has operated the shoreline sailing lake and boathouse will get a chance to renegotiate its lease. The Mountain View City Council informally agreed Tuesday during a study session. Silicon Shores Inc. has rented the facility from the city since 1993, but its lease expires at the end of this year in December. That prompted city staff to ask the council whether it should renegotiate solely with Silicon Shores or seek competing bids. Christina Ferrari, CEO of Silicon Shores, told council members the company is a 100% woman-owned business that has invested continually and substantially in the enterprise and increased its rent to the city by 4.4 times in the 25 years. A report from Dennis P. Drennan, Real Property Program Administrator for the city, said Silicon Shores pays rent on a percentage basis. The company pays 7% of its income from food service, including from Shoreline Cafe Now American Bistro and 10% from other concessions, such as boat and kayak rentals. Silicon Shores paid $245,000 to the city in fiscal 201,617. Council member Ken Rosenberg called the idea of issuing a request for proposals punitive and a bad idea. What you will get from an RFP is a lower quality competitor, the current lessee is doing really good work. Like the Palo Alto Daily News Facebook page for neighborhood news and conversation from Palo Alto, Menlo Park, Mountain View, Redwood City and beyond. Mayor Lenny Siegel called the Shoreline Lake facility, one of the gems of Mountain View. My only wish is we had a bigger lake. It's a given fact that she's doing a really good job. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, council member John McAllister argued for issuing a request for proposals to see what the market would bear. The market is going up, he said. How do we know what will the market bear? But McAllister also suggested giving Silicon Shores a first right of refusal if the city takes that route. By a show of hands, the council ultimately instructed staff to negotiate with Silicon Shores only. During its session, the council also discussed whether the city should spend some capital improvement money on the Shoreline Lake facility. The facility was built 25 years ago and now exceeds the original use capacity, according to a staff report. The kitchen could use an expansion and the docks an overhaul, it adds. The Shoreline Cafe serves walk and traffic, but also has a large banquet room and does catering. The investment could result in higher food sales with attendant higher rent to the city, according to the staff report. A reconfiguration of the docks could include a separate kayak launch dock and separating the paddle sports and wind sports onto two different docks. The staff report suggests that the improvements could run from $500,000 to $750,000, but the money would be recouped eventually through rent. The council unanimously agreed to proceed with the idea. The Lakeside Cafe at Shoreline Sailing Lake and Boathouse has recently been renamed American Bistro, and offers inside and outside banquet facilities. Christina Ferrari Shoreline Sailing Lake and Boathouse